This video will cover basic weapons employment, including the sidewinders, rockets and gun pod. I'm going to start with Zuni rockets. Start by selecting them. Master arm on, air to ground on. You can see the HUD pipper has changed. This solid circle will start counting down when you are in range to employ the weapons. You'll see it start here, and it'll slowly untaper all the way around as you're in range. As soon as that starts to go down, you are in range. This functions as a CCIP. All you have to do is put the pipper over your target and press the pickle button. So I line myself up. Wait for the pipper to unwind. There he goes, and take a shot. The Zuni rockets are very accurate. They're the most accurate rocket on the aircraft. You can fire them individually, or in a group. You can also fire them from slightly beyond the range that the Pippa allows for. But be conscious of the fact you will lose accuracy the further you out you are that you launch the missiles. They're not homing weapons, they are dumb fire, they will hit wherever the Pippa is aligned roughly, provided you are within the range scope. In addition to using your main weapons such as rockets and bombs, you can also enable the gun at the same time. You can do this by going to the MFD page and pressing the gun selector. Now you can see on the HUD we have a cross. This cross represents where the gun is aiming. Note it is a significant distance away from the rocket aim point. So if I wanted to aim at a target with rockets, if I pip her up, take aim. Wait for the range. Launch a couple of rockets, nose down to get my crosshair on. And you can also fire. Be aware that the sight is bore sighted, that means it provides no CCIP information. And you will find that sometimes you will overshoot or undershoot depending on the distance. However, it is quite useful if you want to go for a secondary target of opportunity as you fly past. You also have a good selection of smaller rockets. Be cautious because firing from beyond the optimal range will result in quite a wide spread. These rockets are good for taking out lightly armoured targets such as trucks and infantry positions. If you wish to use the gun in CCIP, all you have to do is disable all selected weapons and find the gun button here. You'll also find it on most pages, but there we go, there's there's the store page and we have the ammunition counter. The ammo counter also appears on the HUD, just here. And you can see we have the CCIP gun sight. This will predict reasonably accurately where your bullets are going to go. So I run in on my target. Be aware that the gun is off center, that means your shots, your subsequent shots from your first burst will drift. If you watch, you can see I'm getting kicked to the left. Keep this in mind when using the gun. You will need to put a small amount of rudder to cancel out the effects to keep your shots on target. The air to air dogfight switch, found here on the stick, has three positions a depressed, a forward, and an aft. Forward and aft change between the sidewinder modes. You have seam mode, sidewinder extended acquisition mode. In this mode, the seeker head spins around in circles to increase the acquisition area. Be aware it is not currently modelled and so it functions like a bore sight. You also have bore sight mode, where you simply drop your target within this circle and it will acquire like so. All you have to do then is pull the trigger when the tone changes and you've got a solid lock around your target. The missile goes away and homes in on its target. Splash. Before you use the sidewinders, remember to have enabled your IR call switch. They require about three minutes to prepare. 
We can also use the gun by pressing the air-to-air -air dogfight switch down. This enables the gun cross, which is a bore sight, and a range sight inside the circle above it. This is ranged to about 1,200 feet, I believe. You're completely visual on this, it's all up to you to aim this, so it's the old-fashioned way. So, take a guess, pull the trigger, see where your shots went, and adjust. Remember the Harrier is not intended for air-to-air, -air. it will struggle against modern fighters, however it does have a very good turn rate. You can also use your nozzles to increase your turn rate substantially at the cost of airspeed. So if you do get into a dogfight, it is best to remain in a turning fight, but it is be even better yet to avoid a fight altogether if possible, as you will not fare well against radar-guided aircraft. That concludes the basic weapons for the Harrier.